Hello world. There is some debate among researchers about which of these financial variables is the best indicator of stock returns. Some studies have found that the sales price ratio and the debt equity ratio have greater explanatory power for stock returns than either the book market value of equity ratio or the market value of equity. Furthermore, the sales price ratio captures the role of the debt equity ratio in explaining stock returns. Neither the book market value of equity ratio nor the market value of equity has consistent explanatory power for stock returns, and the sales price ratio is a more reliable explanatory factor. However, other studies have found that the book market value of equity ratio, B slash MV, and firm size, measured by the market value of equity, MV, have the strongest relations with the cross-section of average stock returns during certain periods. It is important to note that these results may vary depending on the market and time period being studied. For example, a study on Pakistani stock market found that the best indicator for stock returns was book to market value of equity for the studied period 2000 to 2092. So, to be honest, among the variables mentioned, sales price, debt equity, book value, and organization size, none of them alone can be considered an apt barometer of stock exchange returns. However, some of these variables can provide valuable insights when used in combination with other factors for assessing potential stock returns. Let's briefly discuss each variable. Number 1. Sales Price – Revenue the sales price, also known as revenue or sales, represents the total income generated by a company from its primary operations. While revenue is a critical financial metric, it alone does not directly determine stock returns. Investors also need to consider profit margins, cost structure, and revenue growth over time to assess the company's financial health and growth prospects. Number 2. Debt Equity – Leverage Debt equity ratio is a measure of a company's financial leverage, calculated by dividing total debt by shareholders' equity. A high debt equity ratio implies that the company relies heavily on debt financing, which can increase financial risk. Companies with excessive debt might face challenges during economic downturns or periods of rising interest rates, which can impact their stock returns. However, a moderate level of debt can also provide tax benefits and enhance returns during favorable economic conditions. Number 3. Book Value – Shareholders' Equity Book value represents the net asset value of a company, calculated by subtracting total liabilities from total assets. While book value is essential for assessing a company's net worth, it may not be a direct indicator of stock returns. Stock prices are influenced by various factors, including future growth prospects, market sentiment, and investor expectations, which are not fully captured by book value alone. Number 4. Organization Size – Market Capitalization Organization size, typically measured by market capitalization, total market value of outstanding shares, can play a role in stock returns. Larger companies with higher market capitalization tend to be more stable and may have lower volatility compared to smaller companies. However, small cap stocks can offer higher growth potential, albeit with higher risk. Market capitalization alone is not a guarantee of stock returns, as other factors also influence stock prices. So. To gauge potential stock exchange returns, investors and analysts often use a combination of financial metrics, qualitative analysis, and industry-specific factors. Commonly used methods include Valuation ratios Price to earnings P, Price to sales PS, Price to book PP, Ratios are commonly used to assess a company's valuation relative to its earnings, sales, or book value. Lower valuation ratios may suggest better value opportunities. Growth Prospects Analyzing a company's growth prospects, including revenue growth, profit growth, and market opportunities, can provide insights into its potential for future stock price appreciation. Profitability Metrics 
Assessing a company's profit margins, return on equity ROE, and return on assets ROI, can indicate its ability to generate profits and returns for shareholders. Industry and Market Analysis Understanding the industry dynamics, market trends, and competitive landscape can help assess a company's position within its sector and the potential impact on its stock returns. Remember that stock market investing involves risk, and past performance or individual metrics may not be indicative of future results. A comprehensive approach that considers multiple factors is essential for making informed investment decisions. It's also important to conduct due diligence and seek advice from financial professionals before making any investment choices. In summary, there is no clear consensus on which of these financial variables is the best barometer of stock exchange returns. It may be useful to consider multiple variables when analyzing stock returns. Did you find this video helpful and informative? If yes, hit the like button. Comment below on which topic you want to see me creating the next video upon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for upcoming insightful videos. Stay tuned.